Russell Fork Pharmacy is your locally owned pharmacy, offering fast, friendly service with competitive prices and free delivery. Call 606-754-7085. Visit RussellForkPharmacy.com and download our free mobile app for refill requests and more. Eastern Kentuckians will add a new face to the state Supreme Court when they vote this year. State Representative Chris Harris and Greenup Circuit Judge Robert Conley are fighting for a spot on the court to replace Justice Sam Wright, who was narrowly defeated in the primary. Mountaintop News political analyst Tom Majasic says the race could come down to population. Chris Harris, of course, very well known to the people of Pike County, people of Martin County. Chris did well making the general election. I mean, there were quite a few people in that field when they narrowed it down to the primary. Robert Conley has a little bit of an advantage in that he's from the Ashland area. So, you know, the northern part of that district just has a larger population. Like I say, Chris will do well in the southern part of that district. He'll do very well in, in Pike County. The disadvantage he has, though, is that most of the people living in the district live in the northern portion of, of the district up towards Ashland, and, and that's where Conley has his strength. Harris has made Conley's temperament an issue, commenting on courtroom video showing the judge yelling and pounding on the bench. But Majasic says he isn't sure if the video will play a major factor in the race. Other than bringing a smile to your face when you watch it, I don't think that's a video that's going to determine how it's going to go one way or another. Meanwhile, Conley has painted himself as the conservative in the race, which Majasic says is problematic for a position that is supposed to be apolitical. It, 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 may, help, it may help out Robert Conley. It, it may hurt him. I'm really not sure. But, but generally speaking, I really like the idea of, of impartial judicial races in which people tout their uh, background, tout their qualifications more than saying I'm going to I'm going to vote conservative on the Supreme Court of Kentucky or I'm good. The, the other guy's a liberal. Stay with Mountaintop News for coverage of the election before and after the vote. Tuesday night you can get real-time election updates by visiting the Mountaintop News Facebook page as well as by tuning in to Mountaintop TV, WDHR, and WXCC for breaking news alerts. And get a complete wrap-up of election results by visiting our website, mountain-topmedia.com.